Guys, the super light's got a new body. I can finally get rid of the scab. Yeah, that's my bad paint job from a while back. But here you go. This is the J Concepts Creep body. Now, it's basically almost the same thing, only there's no back part where the cage is, and the wheel walls actually come down right here to where it fits more of a scale look for 12.3 wheelbase, which is exactly what that is. So we've got this, set that over there. There we are. There we are. And it's real red. I like the red. So guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this body, show you guys a little bit more of the details on it, which there isn't really a whole lot. But then we're going to get this thing out to the Barbarian Scaleplex. Take a look. If you're unfamiliar with the Superlight, it's got a carbon chassis, a simple 540 motor. Now this is the 20 turn I've still got in it from a previous video. Usually I run a Polar 400 by Holmes, but it's geared uh, like 1356. It's pretty much built as light as it can be. Now it's a little bit heavy right now, about 4.3 pounds, because it's got some metal wheels down there with the Proline Crawler Predator compound. But you know, I got plenty of videos on this truck, so make sure you check those out. The body, you know, I really like that there's no back cage work back there. Pretty darn awesome. There are links in the description to get this, of course. There's always links in my descriptions. Always check them things. The front looks a lot better. Now, just as a contrast, let's go ahead and compare this directly to the other bog hog body. Fronts are pretty much identical. The cab is identical. Back here is where it changes. You get a nice, simple, flat truck style bed here. Now, this is for like a mega truck. That's what this body is for, the bog hog body. But as far as lengths goes, they're pretty much the same length. As you can see right here, this one drops down a little bit. This one, not so much. But you know, it's built for mega trucks, bouncing around and all that. So that's the reason for the cage and stuff like that. So anyway, it's time to get this thing outside. We're gonna go ahead and try this bounty climb right here. Now it still has the Holmes 20 turn Crawlmaster Sport in it, except it's on 3S. This is a very, very tough climb. Get that front end to settle over. Pro line predators. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we're going to test out this part of the course right here that we've got set up. See, that's why I'm not here setting course for a competition. And I don't compete with this truck. I'm trying to compete with the TRX Optimus. Jim is over there trying the bounty line. You know, as much as I love my tracks, this, this Axial <laughs> is awesome. Let's go ahead and test this out right here. Now, we've been up this a bunch of times. This is nothing new for the Barbarian Exoplex. The Barbarian, <laughs> the Barbarian Scaleplex. So I got Exoplex on my mind. Man, that thing does look good now that it's red and actual truck. No more scab. Let's give this a shot just to see. Huh, piece of cake. The guest driver, Jim, owns the Barbarian Scaleplex.
That's a tough one, Jim. That is a very narrow spot. Back end is hung up on the root. Wow. Good driving, dude. We well, haven't made it across yet. Nice. Jim's about to come up another climb here. Jim, was that a bump from a 20 turn? <laughs> when I say 20 turn, we're talking five slots. So this thing is like a 55 turn. And it is on 3S right now too. Wow. Is it the tires, the truck, or your driving skills? Which one, Jim? Um, I'm thinking the tires are doing a hell of a good job. Hell of a good job. They're getting some good grip. I like to roll on them. And that they're wrinkling up good when it's some of them tight spots. That's where the stock foams. The truck is so light, you can actually run stock foams with them. Yeah, it's nice. They don't roll too bad. They will roll, though. But they yeah. just... Yeah, it's not, well, you're not getting a whole lot of side roll, but you're getting that wrinkle wall when right. you're trying to get into something. And yet you get up on them edges and it likes to crunch down, which helps it grip. It's very nice. And it's just that little bit of extra grab when you're trying to get over stuff. Right. The Predator compound works good on this truck, too. Yeah, yeah. It's really good set of tires on it. Real good set. Wow. Nice and okay, I've already driven this, but here comes Jim's turn. Let's see if Jim can make this. Easy slide. <laughs> so this thing has real cheap electronics. $20 servo, $15 motor, $41 ESC, hack flask guy. It's a this is a cheap truck. And a little bit of driving practice and you can do this And well. this thing runs like a dream. Yes it does. Let's go ahead and try this brand new pile Jim put together today. Jim, I think you made the pile too easy. I think so. When we do the concrete, we can toughen it up a little bit. We can add a few rocks in a few places. Right. So what do you guys think? To me, it just looks a lot better. And out in the sunlight, in the daylight, it's almost like a glowing red. It's a very bright red. I'm happy with that because it stands out. And here it's, you know, just a little bit of a shade off of what the other body was. But outside, it's a really big difference. Now, the climb that I did that I crawled up and over the little round thing, we call that a bounty climb because almost no vehicle can get it. My Grimlock 2 truck was the first one to ever get across that. Um, I've, I've done it with a Grimlock. I've never done it with a Grimlock 3, actually, now that I think about it. So Grimlock 2 is the first truck to ever get across that, so we kind of call that the Grimlock Climb. This is the first truck to actually crawl it. And by crawling it, I, I mean it can do it and then go back and get it again, not just a crazy fluke. Because there was one of those guys that actually did it with a bomber but he just got I think he got lucky because he could not replicate it so I know I can get it with Grimlock 2 over and over again obviously I can get it with this one over and over again so these two 
or, or this is one of the only two trucks that can really, really get that climb. The rest of it is just a cakewalk. I'm sitting there driving, you know, doing my one-handed thing, and then uh, Jim gets to come back and drive it again. And it was actually pretty cool to see that one particular climb, the way I did it and the way he did it, very similar, very similar to that. So, you know, uh, oh, the 20 turn motor didn't really have enough pep. It was good in the rocks, but eh, a little bit lacking. It really needs that Polar 400 back in it. So that's probably gonna happen pretty soon. So guys, uh, check the description now. I do have links for all this stuff. They are affiliate links. So when you click on those, if you buy using those, those links, I get like a little bit of commission from eBay or Amazon. It's not much, but a little bit just kind of adds up and helps out the channel. It helps me stay on top of things as far as getting you guys products right as they come out. You know, I'm trying to get things as soon as they pop out, boom, 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 so I can show you guys what's in them and give you guys my two cents about the design and all that. So click on those, check those out. I always put links in my descriptions to whatever I'm featuring in any video. So guys, hopefully you like this video and thank you all for watching.